Gemini. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. Welcome back. Hopefully it's a welcome back. Otherwise, welcome you if you haven't watched before. Um, I'm here to do the week. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm here to do the monthly readings for November 2020. Same pattern as the uh, weekly readings. I do the Animal Spirit Oracle, Moontology Oracle, and then the uh, actual tarot reading will be done as a Celtic cross which does include reversals uh, clarification of each card and they will be upright and I finish with the Star Temple Oracle which I read out of the book because that's really positive I love that book I love those wor words I love those words I love those meanings <laughs> you're the last one I'm doing so I'm a bit tired so <laughs> bear with me um, what else <laughs> see I've lost it um, general read only so do only take with you what does resonate and cross watches are welcome check your Sun moon rising sign they may have additional um, meanings to you there and don't forget to check number synchronicities if you believe in that kind of thing with um, things like the two fours two fours might come out so it's 44 you know Google those angel numbers and there could be extra meanings there for you I'm getting into the pattern of saying extra meanings because I kept saying hidden meanings and it's like no it's not hidden it's um, extra meanings for you okay so Gemini we're gonna begin and um, again don't forget to click like and subscribe please and um, try and get me up to triple figures I'm, I'm aiming for 100 now because this is my one week anniversary and I all I wanted was 10 and I got 11 so <laughs> so I got my goal plus 10 percent <laughs> so loving it so do that please <laughs> okay so Gemini you get groundhog spirit time to let go number 31 okay so there's something to let go of We'll see what that is during the reading nothing to let nothing nothing to let go nothing bad about letting go of things um, that's your whole tower that's your whole tower card it's your whole um, you know death card release the old begin the new nothing wrong with letting go Okay, so I just did Libra before you and they got this card as well. So New Moon and Leo, confidence is your key to success. Love that. Time to let go because you've got this new success coming here probably. For some of you. Hopefully for lots of you. Um, yeah, or well, for all of you actually, success is coming. Brilliant. Just starting to get my no the side black eye panda look again. Um, I say my light bulb saga continues. I did get a light bulb, I did, and uh, it was the pin one and not the screw in one. So my table lamp is still sitting up on the bench with no light bulb. So. too many oh Gemini these cards want to talk to you <laughs> oh we're gonna start we're gonna start it's definitely saying start already stop shuffling oh la la We're just talking about the death card. Overall, you get the death card. Okay, but love this. Releasing the old, starting the new. Time to let go of something. Okay. Dare I say someone <laughs> for some people. Um, but definitely new chapter beginning. Love that. Okay, overall that kept wanting to jump out. Five of pentacles. It is reversed. Up, upright is feeling abandoned and isolated left out this is included okay everybody might be wanting a bit of you <laughs> piece of you um, but definitely yeah and your goals are achievable 
I do say doable as a word. Um, I'm learning to say achievable. <laughs> so <laughs> I do make up my own words quite often. Um, it's crossed here with the two of wands. Your goals. That's all about goals. Seeing your vision, um, where you want to be. Okay. Feel like you've got the world in your hands. You're waiting for your ship to come in, but you do need to go and meet that halfway. Don't just wait for it to land in your lap because it won't do that. You do need to put um, that effort in as well. And again, get the confidence. Confidence is key to your success. Love that. Be confident. So Gemini, we are going to clarify. No, we're not because I haven't even read the rest. Look, I've just stuck on that. Might as well finish the shuffle. Okay, so above you, you get the Nine of Swords. That is reversed, so upright it is, and a bit of anxiety and overthinking. Okay, I think now with it reversed, lovely, brilliant. Okay, you've got this, you know you've got this. You're not so stressed or worried about it now. Because beneath you, you've got the world. <laughs> I'm loving this, Gemini. <laughs> you've got this, okay? Love that. Confidence is the key to your success. Look at that success there. In the past, you've got King of Wands. It is reversed, so you haven't been that confident in the past. Okay, but this is the past. So we can still work on getting this upright and getting that there. Okay, coming in is the Eight of Wands. Okay, so fast communication. Okay, you need to be on your toes. Look at this guy, he looks like he's gone to sleep. It's like, no, you need to be on your on your game here. Okay, quick decision may need to be made. Well, now, when I was going, oh la la, <laughs> what you need to know is new love. Every reading, I've got to have love in here somewhere. Okay, new love here doesn't have to be a person or a relationship it can be a new pet new home new job new car anything but there is new love <laughs> but it can be new love love I keep saying that when I get that card can be for some of you okay how others see you the chariot back in control and moving forward success here okay letting go of something moving forward and they see you as moving forward getting your chariot into order and moving forward quickly love that okay hopes and fears five of chalices it is reversed okay upright is a, a sense of loss or grief of some sort okay you are fearful of that not finishing but you have got this reversed okay so that is very much working on on yourself here and focusing on new things that are happening around you okay to get you through that part not bad at all overall you get the queen of pentacles she is reversed um, we'll get to clarify that all of these um, to try and get this back up right here to see that be proud of your achievements okay here you, you're seeing success coming, but it's not quite there yet. It's right here, okay? Um, but it is here. We'll get it here. Okay, so now I've shuffled these right at the start. <laughs> we can just begin clarifying. <laughs> oh, it's been a long morning, but I have made it. Okay, so I'll clarify this death card. King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Empress. Here's your success. Look at that. Good fortune, abundant, everything there. Every success you could possibly have there. Persistence. Persistence is paying off for you. Big time. Big, big time. Empress very in tune with what's happening around you and what's happening in the world at the moment um, around you yourself around your family and friends and loved ones everything you, you you're very aware love that let's see this five of Pentacles that is reversed 
magician, king of swords, four of cups. I think you've manifested your way back into setting your goals, you know, going for your dreams. It is doable. <laughs> it is achievable. <laughs> Determination, confidence, courage here. Okay, King of Swords, very powerful energy, very much in control of the situation. Okay, but do shift your focus to other things as well. Don't just focus on one particular part. Okay. Two of Wands, to clarify. Lovers. Three of Cups. Seven of Cups. Okay, so somebody significant soulmate twin flame they may want to be with you on this ride on this journey to all this success celebration always celebrating success options choices okay so to get on your path forward with your chariot back down here okay look at all your options carefully explore them let go of which doesn't serve you what doesn't serve you? <laughs> Told you it's been a long day. I'm even going this way. Um, brilliant. Love that. Right, I'll clarify this Nine of Swords. It is reversed as well. Love that. Two of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Four of Swords. There's your number synchronicities. Two fours. 44. Go and Google that number. See your angel meaning for that. Okay, somebody wanting to, this is Nine of Swords reverse, so, you know, releasing some sort of anxiety or tension that's been around. Significant other is helping you through that. Okay, self-healing, but still holding on to something. Brilliant, love that. Don't jump out of the frying pan into the fire. That's been my new saying for the weekend. And, um, yeah, work on yourself if need be nothing wrong with that that jumped out so we're going to go with that for the world because it's the emperor seven of swords six of wands gemini this is flowing brilliantly okay strong masculine energy here could be a father figure of some sort doesn't have to be but very stable very strong very committed very much in control of the situation stepping away from what doesn't serve you anymore leave that behind take these and move on move forward victory you come out with victory for this and you're clarifying the world super duper awesome love that okay so we've got the king of wands reversed so we'll do that in your past six of cups the moon two of pentacles fond memories okay memories are in the past sometimes if it's this way with the king reversed okay may not be so happy memories but they are lessons learned not to repeat that cycle love that fearful of repeating cycles maybe this is um, not to be afraid of this card I'm a Pisces I say don't be afraid of me this is my card moon but um, follow the yellow brick road like Dorothy and Toto I think that's been my saying this week as well when I've got this card but um, the moon does shine this clear path for showing you a, a clearer way, like making things clear when things seem a bit grey or dark or shadowy. Okay, and two of pentacles. Juggling a lot, maybe juggling a lot, and um, maybe feeling out of control at times, but maintain your balance, keep your balance, keep your core balance, and your chariot over here is going to move super quick. So we're on to the Eight of Wands, Future Energy, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Four of Wands, the Four of Wands card. Okay, so younger energy may be coming in to offer a new beginning of some sort to help you move to this success. It's been a lot of pain in the background, okay, Ten is at the end of that cycle, you're coming to the end of that, love that, because you've got commitment and stability here. With success comes stability. Okay, so love that. Brilliant. Now we'll do the Ace of Cups. 
this new love. <laughs> some of you might be love, love. Just remember, some. Two of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Tower. Okay, so yeah, knowing where you want to be. If you don't want to be isolated, left out in the cold and abandoned, but they are moving forward. So this could have happened already. Okay, you're now seeing a bigger picture. You're now seeing a clearer vision of where you want to be, not there. So let that tower explode. Okay, drop that off like that and go for this. And ultimately go for this. Okay, you love there. Releasing any old energy around that and um, building the solid new foundation because you know where you want to go with that. Yes. Right, the chariots, five of wands, star, wheel of fortune. These all flow so brilliantly. Okay, so you've had battle, conflict, disharmony, banging your head up against a brick wall. Okay, you're wishing to get your way out of this. Here is turning in your favour to move this chariot forward. This is propelling your chariot forward. Okay, moving, moving. Love that. And it's going to success, Wheel of Fortune, bringing you a success. Stay confident. That's almost like what I've called the um, the monthly reading for Libra. I wonder if I can just say the same thing for you, for you Gemini. Um, I won't, but very much the same. Right, five of chalices reversed is the two of swords knight of wands queen of cups so letting go of this emotional loss or grief of some sort okay groundhog spirit letting go but take this blindfold off if a decision needs to be made of what to let go or who to let go for some of you um, Take that blindfold off so you can make a clear decision. Knight of Wands and Queen of Cups. Okay, you've definitely been on a rocky ride, but again, there's vision of where you want to be and what you want to do. And there's this loving, nurturing energy that's got your back here. Okay, love that. Okay, so your outcome card was the Queen of Pentacles reverse. I think this is all going to be able to turn that around and turn it upright. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, <laughs> Page of Wands, Eight of Cups. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so you've got Queen of Pentacles reversed here. Clarified, she's now upright. Brilliant. What did I say? <laughs> But, yep, confidence is the key to your success. Here's your success coming. Proud of your achievements. Proud of your success. How far you've come. Love that. Okay, again, page of wands. Here's your vision. You want to know what's coming now? Everybody does. I do. So, um, very much looking. Looking at what's coming towards you. Okay, and letting go. Okay, groundhog spirit. Here's walking away from some emotional attachment that doesn't serve you okay love that brilliant oh this way um yeah gemini that is a good reading love that okay so we'll see what the universe has to say for you king of chalices seven of pentacles reversed five of swords there you go. Emotional stability around you. Loving energy. Love the eagle, how he's holding the king up, hovering above the water. Can't get much more stable than that. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, things have been a bit scattery. Um, getting this back up right this way. 
so things are in order getting things in order you don't want them to get out of out of place five of swords okay walking away from a battle that doesn't serve you anymore letting go groundhog spirit letting go okay battle's not worth fighting for anymore don't fight it it's not worth fighting um, because yeah get your confidence key to your success love that so Gemini we finish um, with the Star Temple Oracle and I read that from the book as I said because I love the positive meanings behind all these at the end of the each reading so for Gemini from November 2020 we have 35 the Lapi Lazuli star starlight my inner, vi inner vision guides me to my higher purpose love that that matches confidence key to your success awesome so we have number 35 here somewhere star words insight perception passion the lapi lazuli star inspires personal and spiritual power this energetic vortex reveals inner truth encourages self-awareness and promotes self-confident intuitive expression the lapi lazuli crystal is known to open the third eye chakra and balance the throat chakra it stimulates psychic sight and enhances dream recall and interpretation Wear or place lapis lazuli at the throat to amplify clairvoyance and visualization. In collaboration with the third eye, this crystal clarifies psychic and mediumship connection, thus increasing contact with the spirit realm for healing messages. Beautiful. Love that Gemini. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that helps with some of you and um, don't forget to click like and subscribe, <laughs> please, and share if you can. And I'll see you next week, hopefully, for the weeklies. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.